Jane Purnell. I could stand up here today and say all the cliche lines in the world. I loved you the moment I laid my eyes on you. I always knew we'd end up together, but that wouldn't be a true reflection of our story. I truly appreciate the fact that we have grown from a small but true friendship and blossomed into a deep, rich, genuine love that brings us here today. On the 9th of April 2019, you made your first appearance in my journal. I wrote, I can't concentrate. I'm trying to do an assignment, but all I can think about is Luke. I think I have feelings for him. Which turned into, Luke, yeah, I'm into him. <laughs> I always appreciated his friendship, but now it's a little bit more than before. It's the same, but with a little bedazzlement. I later wrote, I'm kind of at this stage is, oh, is he going to hold my hand? Will we kiss? Will he ask me to be his girlfriend? I'm so into him, it makes me sick. <laughs> Little did I know that I would be standing here today about to be your wife. You are my best friend, my closest confidant, my biggest supporter, and most importantly, the easiest wrestling match I could find. I love your honesty and your passion. I appreciate your ability to see problems differently and the fervent way in which you love me. Watching you adapt and change over the last three years into a woman that is generous and self-sacrificing, but still maintaining that fiery inner flame has proven to me that today was always meant to happen. Luke, you are everything I hoped for, but nothing I expected. You have an amazing zeal for life, a servant heart, and a joy that lights up any room. You make me feel safe. You're hardworking and diligent, and of course, so very handsome. Luke, all that you are makes up the perfect personality that gels with mine. It not only complements, but it supports, it protects, it strengthens, and it leads. You are all I ever wanted love to be. Through this marriage, I commit to loving you the way that Christ has instructed me to, with a fervent love matched only by His love for us. The way He gave Himself for me, I will give all of myself for you. I will protect you, I will honour you, and I will sacrifice for you. My arms will always be your safe space, and your thoughts and opinions will hold the highest place of importance. I vow to lovely love you as boldly as I do right now for the rest of our lives, and to never forget how we felt all those times at our Mount Archer lookout. I'm committed to striving to show you the same love Christ showed me, unfractured, pure, selfless, and unending. I promise to love, cherish, honour and serve you to the best of my ability. I vow to keep God at the centre and to continue to pray for wisdom and blessing over this marriage. I will protect it as my most valuable gift. I promise to always watch the Tottenham highlights, even though I may never want to. <laughs> we are truly at the start of our legacy, so I promise to be the best team player and your forever best friend until the end. I promise to pray for you, for blessing, for healing, and for everything in between. I promise to grow with you, spiritually, emotionally, and maybe physically. And I promise to fight for, to cherish, and to fully appreciate the commitment that we make today between us and God for as long as I live. I can't promise that it'll be easy, but I do promise to always love you no matter our circumstances. And I now pronounce that you are one, husband and wife, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and you may now kiss your bride. So ladies and gentlemen, Daddy more to say and do, I'd like you all pleased to be upstanding, for it's my great joy to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Luke and Emily Flint.
once a lifetime are always coming home to you wherever the world may take us. I've loved you for three years and today I officially claim the rest of them. Luke Alexander Flint, I love you lots and lots. I am yours and you are mine. I love you lots and lots. <laughs>